What's going on YouTube? Or to the double E dash to the Z-O-N coming at you once again. Uh, and I'm here to make a video, uh, just basically my thoughts and reactions, uh, you know, just off the top of my head to uh, yesterday's Nintendo Direct, uh, which was a hell of a Direct. I mean, I see freaking uh, people online with mixed opinions or mixed reactions. Uh, some people didn't care for the Direct, some people were disappointed, and I'm just like, uh, 520 some odd days since the last Direct. You get a 50 minute Direct with 20 some odd games announced. A boatload of those games being awesome games. I'll be the first to admit, there was plenty of games in that Direct that were just straight up not for me. But I'm perfectly fine with that because there was plenty that was for me. You know, and, and, and Nintendo covers a broad base of, of gamers, you know, from, you know, children to uh, adults. You get all this and you have the nerve to complain. I'm not even going to spend much time on these idiots, you know, that, you know, oh, I'm disappointed or whatever, whatever. You know, maybe idiots too strong of a word, but whatever. I love the Direct, man. I watched the entire thing from beginning to end, having a couple of drinks, and hold on, this guy is like, I wonder if he's going to pick a lane, dude. All right, uh, I watched it from beginning to end, had a couple of drinks, enjoyed the, the, the event thoroughly. Uh, man, first and foremost, the biggest surprise to me right off the bat was what they, what they closed with, and I could not be happier. Splatoon 3, that is fucking awesome, dude. That right there for me is an announcement on the level of magnitude uh, uh, as if they would have announced Mario Kart 9, you know, because it's an awesome multiplayer franchise, uh, you know, the last one we got was in 2017, so just four short years, well, actually, it'll be five years by the time it comes out, because unfortunately, it's for 2022, but like I said, Nintendo, we, we all knew that Nintendo says, oh, we're going to uh, talk about games coming in the first half of 2021, but we knew there was going to be a couple in there that they just say, hey, you know, we'll, we'll just break our own rules and say, hey, we're going to announce something coming at the end of the year, or something coming next year, uh, there was a, a, a two or three games that they that they listed off the top of my head that I can remember that were, are coming out next year, but man, Splatoon 3, and they had footage to show us. This wasn't, you know, a Metroid Prime situation or, uh, you know, you know, something like that. It was, it was literally boom, gameplay, trailer, everything, bro. It looks phenomenal. Graphically, it looks beautiful. It's got that same Splatoon charm. Uh, at first, when they were showing it, and you know, you're customizing your character, and now all of a sudden you have this little pet sidekick, one of the little, uh, one of the little fish-looking dudes from the from Salmon Run. Uh, you know, you get to customize him. And all of a sudden, you know, the character takes off, and it looks, at first, I thought it was a side-scrolling, like, adventure spin-off of Splatoon, and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, but then when it ended up being, you know, she gets on the bus, and then all, or the train, or whatever it is, and then, you know, they end up at Encopolis Square, or what looks like Encopolis Square, you know, remodeled, looks beautiful, looks huge, uh, and then all of a sudden, it was just like, dun, 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 boom, Splatoon 3, ah, man, I lost my fucking mind, that was great, uh, other, other games I'm, I'm definitely looking into, Man, Mario Golf Super Rush in just a few short months. It looks amazing graphically. It looks beautiful, vibrant. Uh, and it's not just, you know, Mario and friends just playing regular, normal, boring golf. You know, which even that would have been fun because it's a Mario sports game and, you know, those are always great. But it has its own Mario slash Nintendo type uh, twists to it. Uh, it's got a mode uh, that's called uh, Speed Golf where it's like you and three other people. I don't know if it's online. I didn't get to look into it. But even if it's just local, uh, you and you know three other players pick your characters, and once you take your first shot, there's no, there's no, oh, your turn, my turn. You all take your shots, and then you're just hauling ass, running towards wherever your ball landed, and continuing to hit until somebody gets, uh, you know, the ball in the hole first. Man, the power ups, just that the concept of that, that's just gonna be multiplayer chaos. Hopefully, that is online as well. But man, that looks great. That came out of nowhere. I mean, you know, I know some people were talking about it, like it had been leaked or you know rumored, but. You know, I, I try my best to stay away from the leaks and rumors, especially when it comes to Nintendo, because, you know, I feel like that, like, you, you know, in, in paying so much attention to that, you set yourself up for failure or for disappointment. But, man, that, that game looks amazing. Also, man, they fucking did it. I didn't know how the hell they were going to do it. And to tell you the truth, I still don't really understand because they only talked about, you know, the right stick is the sword. But, you know, what the left stick can't be the shield because you've got to use the left stick to move around. So, we got to see how it's going to work out. But... They are bringing Skyward Sword, one of my all-time favorite Zelda, 3D Zeldas, to the Switch in glorious HD, 60 frames per second, 1080p, with, you know, the motion controls with the Wemo, oh, with, with, I'm sorry, with the Joy-Cons, which also, I was always under the impression, uh, from my experience with the Joy-Cons, they're not as, uh, their motion controls aren't as, uh, how can I say, as, as, uh, 
ah man, for lack of a better word, as detailed oriented or as, or as on point, as fluid, as intuitive as the Wiimote Nunchuck. I just always felt that the that the Joy Cons had more of like a gyroscopic, you know, gyrosphere type motion controls, but not, you know, the one to one, you know, that the Wii Motion Plus had. But let's see how that works. Cause they're adding the motion controls for that, and then you can also play uh, with a regular controller or in handheld using the right thumbstick as your sword and the different directions your sword will be used in or any weapons will be used in. Uh, man, I am psyched. Definite day one buy for me. Coming out in July, which is great. Um, man, Skyward Sword, bro. I love it because now, like is the case with so many uh, games that have come from other consoles to the Wii. Uh, I'm sorry, to the Switch. I mean every. With the exception of Pikmin 3, like I said, which again, I don't understand why, because that game is phenomenal. Every every uh, Wii U port to the Switch has sold two, three, four times more than it did on the Wii U. Now, this is a game from the original Wii, and while the Wii was Nintendo's most successful console to date, uh, Skyward Sword came out at the very, very tail end of it, where we already kind of knew about the Wii U. So it didn't sell all that great for a Wii title or for a Zelda title, because people were just basically saying, oh, what the hell am I going to buy that for? I'm going to wait for the new console next year. Uh, so now a lot more people are going to get the chance to experience Skyward Sword and those people who are you know pathetically intimidated and just put off by motion controls when Skyward Sword was one of the best motion control games ever uh, now they don't have an excuse because now there's an actual traditional more standard uh, control method using a pro controller or you know handheld or joy cons or whatever uh, so now this game is going to get the love and the exposure it deserved it is the you know the, the first in the entire storyline of Zelda. It is the the oldest as far as the storyline goes. It is the first uh, story told in the entire saga of the you know the Triforce and Hyrule and all that. So this is the origin story for the Legend of Zelda, and now more people are going to get to enjoy it. And it's gonna. I mean, I remember on the on the Wii, I used to love the game, and I thought it was a beautiful game. But you could tell how the Wii, being a standard definition console, only outputting at a maximum 480p. Um, was holding back that vibrant, beautiful watercolor painting type of uh, art style that Skyward Sword had. Now we're going to see that in vivid, beautiful, vibrant uh, HD, clear as all hell. I cannot wait for this, man. So that's another game that they announced that just blew me away. Uh, there's a game coming from EA, of all people. Supposedly it's a 1999 price point, uh, which is perfect. Uh, called Knockout City, and this 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 has vibes of Splatoon, kind of. It's a uh, you know, I don't know if it's four on four, but it's team versus team. Uh, basically, extreme volleyball. You know, you're running through all these different maps with verticality, and 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 you know, just coming from all different angles and working as a team, uh, throwing this ball around and just trying to knock the hell out of the other team. It's it's like extreme citywide uh, volleyball. It's like the best way I can explain it. And the trailer just sold me. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so much fucking fun. Uh, so that's another one. Uh, they did some focus uh, trailers on Monster Hunter Rise, which again looks beautiful, but I'm not a Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter fan. Uh, try to get back into it on the Wii U. And try to get into the series on the Wii U. And even with the recently, you know, rather recently uh, re uh, released uh, Monster Hunter World for uh, Game Pass, you know, for Xbox and PS4, even that one, I, I really just couldn't get into it. Not, not a big fan. So, I mean, as great as it looks and awesome for the legions and legions of... Uh, Monster Hunter fans, not for me, but hey, again, I don't, not everything's going to be for me. Uh, man, they're also bringing all three Ninja Gaiden games, uh, and the Ninja Gaiden's Master Collection, I think it's called, which is uh, Sigma, Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, all on one cart, or one download. Uh, that's awesome. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, what else did we have, man? Uh, uh, you know, Anuma, when he got on stage, of course, everybody was like, oh shit, Breath of the Wild 2, and immediately he shot our hopes down. But he did confirm that we will hear about uh, uh, Breath of the Wild this year. So depending on when this year we hear about it, we'll know whether it's going to be a, a, a 2021 game or a 2022 game. But at least he confirmed to us that we will know, we will hear more about the game later in this year. So that's great. Uh, and then he gave us Sky Skyward Sword HD, which is fucking awesome. Too. Um, what else, man? Oh, No More Heroes 3 was shown, given a release date in August. Uh, I gotta be honest, uh, I was never a huge No More Heroes fan. I enjoyed the first game on the Wii. Didn't really get too much into the second game, uh, but was amped about this game. And after seeing the gameplay and seeing, uh, I mean, the visual aesthetic, I mean, there's parts of the game that look beautiful and parts of the game that look like a fucking PlayStation 2 game straight up. Uh, after seeing the gameplay and, you know, kind of a little bit of the story, uh, I'm just completely turned off by it. Not, not really looking forward to it at all. Uh, so that's that's a bummer, but a lot of no more heroes fans out there that are probably salivating for this game, and now you got a release date and you got it there, uh, coming this year. Uh, 
also, you know, the more Mario 35th anniversary stuff for uh, Animal Planet, uh, Animal Planet, well, doesn't mean Animal Crossing, uh, New Horizons, which Mario themed clothes and blocks and warp pipes, which is real cool stuff. Uh, I just recently started getting back into my Animal Crossing uh, uh, file and playing on my island. I mean, it's snowing now because it's where I'm winter. Uh, but, you know, it's a fun game, bro, and it's a game that can take up a lot of hours and a lot of uh, playtime. Uh, and not to have Mario themed stuff in it, including the warp pipes, which allow you to warp through the pipes to any part of your island. That's going to be cool. Save a lot of time, you know, trekking through the islands and all that. So that's going to be cool. Uh, what else did they announce, man? Um, off the top of my head, there was no Metroid Prime 3, sadly. Not even a whisper about it, which is like, Jesus Christ, come on, bro. It's been, like I said in the, in the last video, it's been two, it's been over two years since you stopped development, restarted it with Retro Studios, and we don't have a fucking screenshot to show. Uh, no, 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 uh, no talk about Bayonetta 3 either, so those were two bummers, but you know, like I said, at least Breath of the Wild 2, we got some, we got uh, confirmation that we will hear about that game later in the year, and we got a great uh, 3D Zelda HD port uh, coming. Uh, what else, man? Uh, trying to think off the top of my head, there was a lot of shit, bro. Uh, new, a new game from the uh, same, from Square, following in the vein of Octopath Traveler. Uh, I, I'm actually currently downloading the free demo because I mean, it comes out in 2022, but there's a free demo. And they're going to do the same thing, which is great. It's a great strategy. Release a demo, let the fans play it, and then get feedback from the fans and, adju and adjust the game accordingly. Uh, I think that's an amazing strategy. Uh, so even though I'm not a big fan of those games, I downloaded the demo. You know, When it finishes downloading, I'll check it out, play it, and you know, see what's up. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, man, um, we got Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville Complete Edition with everything, all the DLC and everything coming to the Switch, which is long overdue, uh, and it looks fun, it looks interesting. Uh, looks like a you know good multiplayer game. Uh, I have uh, I have uh, Plants vs. Zombies uh, Battle for Neighborville uh, available through Game Pass, so I can always check it out and see if I like it and see if I would like to have a portable version of the game for the Switch. Um, Oh, Smash Brothers, the way they opened up, uh, Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 being uh, new fighters for Smash Brothers. Some people were actually let down by this. I think it's one of the better character selections, bro, and you know me with Smash Brothers. I haven't bought many of the, the characters or the fighters' passes because I haven't given a shit about Joker, Sephiroth. I don't give a shit about those characters. Um... Uh, what was the, you know, Terry from King of Fighters. Maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll get him because I like to have, you know, those type of characters. I get Ryu and Ken in there. Why not have Terry? And he is available. But really, the only characters for Smash Brothers Brawl that I really, really went out of my way and was excited about and bought was Banjo-Kazooie. I mean, I, you know, off the top of my head, I'm thinking about the characters they've had. They had Joker. I don't care. They had, um, uh, like I said, one of the latest ones, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. I don't care. Uh, uh, Min Min or whatever from Arms, don't care. Steve from uh, from uh, from Minecraft, I got it simply because my kids are big Minecraft fans, but I don't care. You know, it's been a lot of miss rather than hit for me with the extra characters coming out for Smash. But this to me is one that not only makes sense it's from a franchise that's a big franchise for Nintendo. It's their Nintendo's big RPG franchise, so it's also a little bit of a marketing push for that franchise. Uh, and it, it's cool to have Pyra and Mithra there. Their abilities, their move sets, looks good. It was an exciting reveal, man, and, and it was and it was real clever. That like always, the, the the Smash Brothers, you know, character trailers that they did the way they trolled us. I was like, oh man, Xenoblade Chronicles two, you know, fucking four, almost four years later, is getting an expansion. Oh, oh Xenoblade Chronicles three, and it was just Pyra being invited to Smash, which was awesome. Uh, so yeah, there was that man. There was a lot of good in this direct, man. I don't know what people are tripping about. Uh, Nintendo basically reinforced their position as being strictly about the games doesn't matter if our hardware is not as strong as the competitor doesn't matter if you know you know, you know we're different or th than the competitors and sometimes out of touch bro we bring the games and and again that's always the most important part of any any console so they reestablished that not only did they it, to me it was a triumphant return not just for nintendo directs but for nintendo showing us that there's been a lot of stuff being worked on and 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 man i mean there was a shitload of third party games uh fall guys coming uh outer wilds coming also uh man it's, it's a lot bro it's a lot so i was very pleased with the direct again my my highlights first and foremost splatoon 3 i wish that was a 2020 2021 game but apparently it's a 2022 game uh and if i had to guess it's probably going to be like in march to may around there of 2022 because pretty much i have i'm not mistaken when splatoon 2 released on on the switch uh in 2017 
Uh, but man, bro, uh, Splatoon 3, bro, how great that game looks. Uh, how Splatoon continues to evolve and grow. I mean, keep in mind this this franchise uh, started. I want to say in 2014 on the on the Wii U, and in what's gonna be eight years by the time you know Splatoon 3 launches in eight short years, three installments. That's that's great, man. That's great. And every installment more popular, you know, at least you know two was even more popular than one, and one was a sensation on the Wii U. So. Uh, just a great, great thing, man. Uh, also, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I am fucking salivating for that. And it's literally right around the corner. And then Mario Golf Super Rush, which is also right around the corner. So right there off the top, right, right now. In the Oh, there's a lot of shit coming out in March, by the way. I felt like almost everything had a March release date. So March is going to just fucking destroy people's wallets. But, man, I mean, it, I just felt like right off the bat, right thinking, I mean, if I go back and look at it now and look at everything that was uh you know, uh, announced and all that, I bet you can find even more stuff that I'm hyped about, but the ones that stood out to me, two of them are in the next couple of months, right there, back to back, Mario uh, Golf Super Rush, and Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, uh, uh, you know, and then, like I said, bro, Splatoon 3, bro, so those are three big uh, games for me, three big announcements, uh, two of them coming right up, one of them for next year, and there's a shitload of stuff in between, and again, this is just the first direct, uh, I fully accept this as nintendo's return to nintendo directs so i expect another direct you know in the next couple of months i mean maybe maybe we'll have another direct now in, uh, sooner than we think to start going over what uh the plans are for the legend of zelda 35th anniversary which is literally in a couple days february 21st so i mean this is gonna be great bro switch uh switch has uh, you you've, you've seen me in the past plenty of times complain about switch and and be turned off by nintendo and uh and, you know, just kind of have my Switch there as a, you know, this thing just goes with me to work and goes with me wherever I go. And, you know, when I have a few minutes here and there, I play. But really, I'm my Series X all the way. Uh, this puts Switch back in the, in the driver's seat, for, at least for the time being. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my Series X and I'm having a blast with it. I was playing some of it earlier today. I was playing um, uh, uh, State of Decay uh, 2 again, uh, Optimized for Series X. And also uh, the Medium, which is awesome, bro. But, uh, but, man, Switch having all this hype around it and all these announcements puts it right back up there with my series x and as i said in the previous video when i have the most powerful console available in the world today uh with the best value in gaming with game pass and then the switch and all nintendo's exclusives and now all these announcements and the portable play and all that i'm covered dude from head to toe so uh that's just my thoughts and my reactions to this nintendo direct man i'm very happy very pleased uh it's good to see nintendo coming out and just establishing dominance man because even though we have series x which is a beast and, uh, and playstation 5 which is another you know next gen console you know and, you know not their current gen consoles but you know they just recently re uh, released last november and they're gonna start getting the wheels turning sooner or later more and more games are gonna start showing up for these beast you know current gen consoles the switch with you know limited power and being you know going into its fifth year this march is coming out and just basically establishing dominance and saying hey dude it doesn't matter power new consoles this and that we don't give a fuck we're nintendo and here's a shitload of games you know it's it's just awesome man awesome awesome to see that uh so i'm hyped bro hope you guys have enjoyed this video man leave your comments subscribe whatever you want to do uh and we can have some uh, some discussion some dialogue about it oh and by the way to my dog jason man if you watch this video uh i saw your response uh comment uh, for some reason when i click on it i can't actually go to it uh as you know i i got rid of all you know social media as far as anything that's uh identifiable with facebook so you know facebook messenger instagram all that shit because of all you know their, their violations and their violating of uh, freedom of speech and all that shit i'm not gonna play a part in that so unfortunately i didn't think that you know that was the only way I, I i really can chat with you and so because of that i haven't been able to chat with you so i mean we got to find the way man i don't know your actual number uh and we gotta we gotta find a way to link up bro i'm not comfortable putting my number out here you know on a video but uh we gotta find a way to link up bro uh see if i go on your channel leave you another comment i left you a comment i don't know if you saw it on your actual youtube channel uh to let you know hey i forgot that you know facebook messenger is the way we talk uh but yeah man we gotta get link up bro and then you know you know privately and that way i'll give you my number i'll get your number and then that way we can stay in touch man uh but yeah bro uh man switch is just fucking killing it right now man anyways man god bless y'all stay gaming peace